What you are seeing now is the scene of pregnant Ukrainian female soldiers surrendering to the Russian army. Ukrainian lawmakers claim that pregnancy is not a reason to delay military service. It is reported that Ukraine has urgently allocated 50,000 sets of female soldier uniforms to support those who are about to go to the front lines. Although women usually play auxiliary roles in war, Ukraine's predicament has reached the point where they have no choice but to send female soldiers to the front lines. However, their combat effectiveness is questionable, as most of them have never experienced combat and may show cowardice or even become captives in real battles. What's even more tragic is that the Ukrainian authorities cannot provide proper personal equipment for female soldiers, possibly due to insufficient resources in the country. However, this dilemma makes the survival environment for female soldiers even more precarious. With a large number of male casualties and young women being sent to the front lines, Ukraine may face a sharp decline in population and even a crisis of ethnic survival in the Fuck. future. Currently, Ukraine has introduced a new regulation that allows pregnant female soldiers to delay their military service in order to avoid being sent to the front lines. Many women are competing to get pregnant to avoid deployment. The happiness of men in the rear of Ukraine has come too suddenly. From an objective perspective, when most available men in a country are conscripted and a large number of young women are sent to the front lines, Ukraine cannot afford to delay peace talks any longer. I feel